and welcome to Naturally Kim's Knitting. I'm Kim and I'm your hostess and this is episode 31. I am so glad to have each and every one of you here today. Um, whether this is your first time checking me out or whether this is your oh 31st time to check me out. I am so glad to have you here. I love you all. Um, you're the reason I keep doing this because otherwise I'd be talking to thin air. I do love making podcasts and I love sharing about my knitting and, and my family and what I've been doing. Um, it's just nice to know that you have somebody that you're actually talking to. So I want to thank you once again. Um, you know, I do have a new person. Just a moment, i got to get the information. So I've had two new people join the um, Ravelry page this week. The first one is Peachy1751 from Northeast Pennsylvania. Welcome, Peachy. And the other one is Granny Sheep from Michigan. Welcome to you, too. I'm so glad to have you both here. You're, both of you are relatively close to Ohio. I mean, I live on the, well, I live over on the west part of Ohio. Um, not quite north, you know, more kind of central, I guess. So, um, having somebody from Michigan and Pennsylvania, I, you know, I've been both places many times. Anyways, <laughs> sorry, as you know, I do like to ramble. Well, I might as well um, go ahead and get started. We will be having a, a, a drawing at the end of this episode, so stay tuned to see if you happen to win a pattern from Ravelry for my happy birthday giveaway. Now, even if you um, entered last week, Please enter again this week because, or this coming week, because the drawings, I'm starting over each Thursday, um, taking names. And that way, um, I lost the, my train of thought. I'm sorry if I'm like this today. The weather is gray and dreary, and that makes my head do funny things sometimes. So anyways, but please go ahead and sign in again because... Um, I'm starting the drawings each week for eligibility. So just because you entered last week does not mean that you'll be in the drawing for next week. And next week, there are two prizes to be given away because Cece has also, Cece Allman has also um, given me a code for any pattern off of her page. So And she has some beautiful, beautiful patterns. So um, make sure to re-register next week on, on the birthday giveaways thread Anyways, so I might as well go ahead and get started trying to decide where to start first. <laughs> so, as you know, I, last week I had started over on the left front of my um, milkweed sweater. And I have been making progress. I love this pattern. I say that every week. Um, I mean, last week I had stopped right there. So I got from there all the way to the top done this week. I'm coming very close to um, being ready to work on the shoulder shaping. So very happy with this. Um, this is made out of LRA Classic Heathers, size 7 needles, 6 or 7s, I don't remember off the top of my head, sorry. This is a pattern I paid for. Um, but it was well worth it. I like Carol Sunday's work, Carol Sunday's designs work. So this is object number one. Yay, I'll be working on that today some more. So, okay, next, since I'm into the sweater, I might as well show my husband's sweater. I finished the back last week. And I have thread, or stitches on waist thread. And I've almost, finished the front this week. I think I have, this is so sad, when you have like two rows to go and you do, don't finish it. <laughs> but last week, if you remember, I started clear down here. Now, it looks like a real short armhole, but that's because I'm doing something special for the um, shoulder. So it needs to be um, a narrower armhole. Although that does look very narrow. I may have to take it and do a few more rows. Anyways, this is made out of my own um, 
dandy green yarn on 100% wool. Beautiful, if I do say so myself. This will become, um, the dandy green color is going to be part of my standard store stock once I get a, a standard store stock going. Um, there isn't any in there right now, but there will be soon. Honestly, I, I, going, I have two more skeins of yarn to dye, and then I'll be, um, then I'll have to wait for people to purchase before I can buy some more yarn. So, sad to be like that, or until the end of the month. So, anyways, then I have, I have my George socks. Oh, yes, I finished my George socks. Just a moment. How could I forget? I finished my George socks. And this is it. This is now for sale in the it's I mean Ravelry. Ooh. The colors just there we go. I don't know if you can see the little diamond pattern in there. And then a small little easy cable along the sides. These are my George socks. I made these in honor of my Uncle George. He was the oldest of the brothers in the Minnick family. And uh so this is my first sock that I'm making in memory of my uncle. So um, I have, do have a special in there. Anybody who would want to, the first three people to purchase the pattern or who are interested in the pattern, if you either PM me through Ravelry or send me an email, I will be glad to um, give, you a, give you a free copy of the pattern as long as you will agree to um, link it to my to my um, to the page on my Ravelry page, because um, Napier's knits, because you'll be basically acting as my test knitters, so you will get a free pattern, but you will need to do a little work for it. So, anyways, that's my George sock. Isn't it pretty? I love it. Oh, and it is made out of, I should tell you, Highlands Handmade Aurora Australis. Yes, that's what it is. Had to think for a minute. Um, size 1 needles. I love these. So anyways, um, though they are otherwise, they're $2 on my Ravelry page. But please go check them out. Now let's see. I also have, where's my Diplodocus? Oh, there's my Diplodocus. I'm still on the first one because you have to work the whole body before you can, before you bind off or anything. And it's big. Look at this big thing. You can tell, tell I started with the tail. Sorry about this, the end there. And I'm getting to, starting to do the decreases at the top of the body. And then of course there will be a neck. And this is my one time only, sorry. My one time only um, dyeing of this color, at least on purpose, because this is special for my grandchildren. This is for one of the grandchildren that I have another color that I made for the other one. So um, that's my Diplodocus. The pattern came from Knit Picks. Um, cute, cuter, cutest was the book. And uh, like I said, this is my yarn. But they're made on size. Let me look at the needle size because I'm not remembering off the top of my head. Um, got to find the first page. Um, size eight double points. And the yarn is a bulky weight yarn. Because I, there, there are three different sizes. And the size you make determines the needle size and the yarn weight that you'll use. And so I decided to go with the largest one. And that's bulky yarn and size eight needles. You can't do it on circulars very well. I tried. Oh, before I forget, in case you're know, thinking, what is wrong with my color on my screen? I had some purple put in my hair. Purple is my favorite color. And so I decided, eh, you know what? I'm going to have some fun. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> this is actually, well, this is, isn't totally finished. I only finished one sock right now. But out of one of my other yarns that's in my shop, that will be in my sharp shop regularly, sorry, is my partly cloudy sock. My daughter named it, my daughter and granddaughter, and I just finished the 
the cuff last night. It's just dirt. Excuse me. Sorry about that. I never know when the trash man is going to come. And my dog loves to announce the trash man. Okay, so um, these were just worked on. These are just plain socks. Um, size 1 needles. And the yarn is a fingering weight yarn. Now, once I start making this a regular in my store, I will show you how it skeins up and everything. But it's, I, I like this. This is so pretty. So I just needed to do a sample to show in the shop. So this is my partly cloudy sock. I, I will be starting another one, but probably not for a little while. I've got some other things I need to do. Okay, now let me see. What else do I have here? I told you I was working on a special project for CC Almond um, pattern test. I do pattern testing for her, and I <laughs> I'm so crazy because I love CC and I love her work. I cannot show you the pattern yet. Um, probably in I think she said in a week it's going to be released, but I can show you the yarn because the yarn is my own. This is what the Grandy Green looks like. In this sock yarn, isn't this pretty? It's almost like a sage green just because of the different um, base that it's worked on. But it still came up so pretty. So anyways, that's my dandy green. That's my sock for Cece. And then I, I say I'm crazy because Cece is really singing, or is asking for testing for another sock. So I had... And it's a Christmassy type pattern. And I can show this to you because it's just the toe so far. But um, <laughs> this is done on some of the tweed base yarn. Come on. That I've, that I've home dyed. It doesn't have nylon in it. So it's not usually my first choice for socks. But I thought I would try this with it. And... It, turned, it was going to be like a Halloween colorish sock, but I made a mistake in the dyeing. So instead of having three skeins of Halloween colors, I ended up with three skeins of different colors. I, I, it was a big tangled mess mistake. And so this was one of the colors. It was going to be a red, as you can see. Then I kind of have an orange variegated, and then I have an orange, which I'll make socks for my son out of, but not yet. I thought I would try try it with this first, and if it doesn't work out as a sock, then I will um, probably make a cow or something like that out of them. But I like it. It just doesn't have nylon in it, so it won't have the stretchiness that a lot of people like. However, if you're not one of those people, um, I'll show you in a little bit. I, I do have more of this yarn, but not this color that I would be putting in the store. Okay. Well, that's everything I've been working on. I have to look around because that just, you know. I know I have a million and one projects that I work on every, every week. But holds my attention. Now, I do not have a child's chemo cap up this week because I've been working on so many other things lately. But I did finish one last week. And it's, ta-da! And it's got a little seed stitch in here. This is also out of the wildflower. This is the last of my wildflower that I have. Size 6, but it's from Knit Picks Chroma Worsted, which makes it a nice, soft, but warm hat. Um, yes, I did finish off the, the hole in the middle. Yay! Um, so, that's another one of my child's chemo. And this is a larger child's chemo cap, but that's okay. So, this goes in my stack of chemo caps that, that I have behind me. My goodness. I feel like I'm just going through everything really, really fast today. Um, might as well go on to the things that are making me happy. As I mentioned before, I've been dyeing yarn. and Oh my goodness, I love dyeing yarn. I do. Now, last week I told, showed you some fleece that I've been doing. Well, I've also been doing some yarn, but I'm going to save that for the store update because this yarn is going to go in my store tomorrow. Yay! 
Um, tomorrow, by the end of the day, the update should be done. So anybody who's interested in any of the yarn can go there then and they can purchase any of it they might want. Um, the other thing that's making me happy, of course, this is my birthday month. And like I mentioned before, I, I love birthday wishes. I love my birthday. I love celebrating my birthday. So the, the fact that I, make, I put together this contest isn't really surprising. Um, but yes, I, I would really love to have everybody who watches this go into my Ravelry page. You know, just become a member and sign up in the, in the um, birthday giveaway thread. And let me see how many people I could get to wish me a happy birthday. My birthday is on the 20th. So it will be next Tuesday. So next Wednesday, well, when I tape this on Wednesday, I will actually draw two names. One for any Ravelry pattern up to $7, that's for me. And one of CC Almond's Java Pearl Designs pattern. Um, if you're not sure that if you'd like it or not, go to her Ravelry page and look at her beautiful, beautiful patterns. So anyways, that's what I've been doing that they, that they can be happy. So, so tickled. I've been watching a lot of Critical Role. I think I told you last week I started from the beginning. And I have these wonderful headsets that I can turn on a TV show out here and I can listen as I die in the kitchen. My husband laughs whenever I say that. When as I'm dying yarn in the kitchen. So um, I've been listening. And it's not something that you actually have to watch. It's, it's, they're, it's, all voice. I mean, the people are on a panel, but they're not acting anything out. So you have to use your imagination anyway. So it's very easy for me to use my imagination as I'm dyeing up yarn. Um, other things I've been watching, Inside 23rd, number, Inside number 23. Oh my goodness. If you have not watched that podcast, she is such a sweetie. I love her. I've been watching her and of course, Dyer's Notebook. And, um, Yarngasm. I, I lost it for a second. And of course, my Geeky Girls Knits. So I've been very busy with that. I've still been reading a lot of samplers. Um, I did start the Babel Conspiracy last week, but I wasn't able to finish it. So there isn't a review yet, but there will be soon. Um, if you want to keep up on that, you can always go to my reading, writing, and so much more on Blogger. And you can see what I write, what review I write about that. My husband and I have still been doing a year without a purchase and always hungry. Um, so those things are still continuing. I'm not starting the always hungry diet until I get back from Tahoe. But, you know, I want to be ready. Oh, and by the way, talking about something else that made me happy and I didn't mention this. Oh, my goodness. You know, I've been telling you that if I lost just a couple more pounds, I'd be down to lower than I've been for... Over a decade and all that, I figured out it was, it's been 18 years since I have weighed this much or less. Now, this also means my husband owes me a wardrobe shopping trip. Yay! And I made a deal with him a week or so ago that for every 10 pounds that I lose, I'm going to buy myself a t-shirt. And there's all kinds of cute knit t-shirts. Um, on Etsy, so I just went in and ordered one yesterday. So anyways, fun, fun. So I've, I've got some shopping I'll be doing this week. Been doing my steps too, so it's been, it's been easier for me to be able to um, lose the weight because as I'm knitting or as I'm rolling up balls of yarn or whatever, I sit on my bouncy ball and I bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce. Sorry, I shouldn't do that because I realize that messes up the picture. But, um, it's amazing how fast time goes when I'm doing that. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the winner. For the $7 Ravelry pattern, you need to either PM me on Ravelry or send me an email at ksnapier475 at gmail.com. And the winner this week is... Peaches, 1751. She sent me such a sweet, sweet birthday message. Um, <laughs> I just loved it. And, of course, I um, 
I enjoy reading. Uh, I enjoy reading any of the comments. But Peachy, you happen to be the winner this week. So go into Ravelry, find one giftable pattern, and then let me know what 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 pattern you would like, and I will gift it to you. So seven dollars or less. My happy birthday gift to you. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and get ready to go on to Napier's Yarns. That is the name of my Etsy store. But I'd like to show you some of the yarn that I'm going to be having in there. I do have some more of my, if you remember last week, I told you I had made um, some yarn for my brother, my brother, my son's sweater, and my second batch turned out lighter. Well, this is that second batch. And I've got three skeins of it. Um, each one will be posted on Etsy, so please go in there, and if you're interested, so it'd be yours. Then, on that same tweed that I'm doing the red socks out of, excuse me, I did my partly cloudy. Now you can see, depending on the base, it comes out different in different colors. And I'm loving this. Isn't that pretty? So that's my partly cloudy. And I have two skeins of that right now. And then I started a new one. My granddaughter named it. This one didn't twist up very nice. I need to re-skein re this one. I have two of this, and this is Daniel's Blue. My granddaughter named it. Um, she had, She's a big Daniel Tigers fan. And um, one episode, Daniel, instead of wearing his red sweater, put on his blue sweater. And it really struck, stuck with her. And she said that this reminded her of Daniel's blue sweater. So this is Daniel's blue. So there will be two skeins of this in the store. Otherwise, I think that's it for um, as far as what's going into the store this week. I just wanted to check one thing out. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, I think that's it for what's going into the store. I think I've got everything covered that I've done. I've been reading samplers, like I said. However, in the one sampler I'm reading, there's a book by David McCollum, who plays Ducky on NCIS, and who was Ilya Kuryaki in The Man from Uncle way back when. But I remember him from it. Had the biggest crush on him. Anyways, um, there's a book. There, there's two or three chapters in a book that he wrote. In a book that I'm re that in a book in a sampler that I just read, so that just made my day. Anyways, um, I'm going to put a list of where I could be found at the beginning of the podcast, um, and I look forward to seeing more and more birthday wishes as my actual birthday is coming up next Tuesday. Yay! I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so weird. I know. <laughs> Anyways. Um, I hope you all have a great week knitting. Very few drop stitches, if any, depending if you mean to or not. No frogs. And big, big hugs. I love you all. Bye-bye. <laughs>